This victim. Four-Wheel Drive Association of BC. It's a little different group. These guys are uh, already just from the get-go. Like the vehicles are way more built up. So we'll see how we do today. Let's not embarrass ourselves, right? No, 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 no. Today, Ryan here is our guide. My name's Gord. Vicky. Hi. Hi. Josh. Sean. Yeah, Ryan. Jack, by the way. Alexi. Nice to meet you. Bump. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, can't shake hands nowadays. When you join folks like this, they know every road, they know every turn, they know everything. Oh, it's going that way. Our destination is Kenyon Lake and a bunch of cool obstacles along the way. There you go. Congratulations, young hey, yo. man! Yeah, you want to go? 
go over this way that you drop it, it probably would be easier. The sliders are broken. Oh man, look at that articulation! The fog on Kenyon Lake was so thick it was like standing on the edge of an abyss. The close islands barely shadows. The whole idea about this is just to do an intermediate run opposed to four low that does a lot of the big trails, so big rigs. But a lot of people that watch those don't have big rigs. I like riding with the four four low guys just because they're nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and guys having fun? Oh yeah. So yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. We'll grab the windshield, we'll pull it out, and keep going. Yeah, yeah. We'll pull you out. Don't Actually, worry about it. There's enough of us. Yeah, yeah. One guy can hold the hook. Yeah. Oh, it slipped. Sean led the way so he could spot us going back up to the obstacle. It was perfect. I didn't think it was going to be that hard, so I just kind of went for it. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Three-wheeling! Okay, what am I doing here, guys? Your rear right is in that big ass hole. Pull no, 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 no. forward a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Little more passenger. You're good right there. Straight up. Straight. Straight up. You're good. Perfect. Thank you. Whew, that's what they call a pucker moment. Okay, bump it. You feel like it's just gonna take off like an airplane. Give it a double wrap just because it's uh, slippery. Yeah, there you go. No matter what. Keep going. Pull on your winch line. Keep going. Don't turn your wheel. Leave it right where it's at. Yep. Win. Okay, you're gonna climb right up. Nope, nope. Go back. He has to go back. Nice and easy, all the way up to the lawn. There you go. You're good. You're good. You're good. Passenger. Passenger. You're on your slider again. Driver. Driver. <laughs> Winch line. Those, those sliders are uh, very useful. Oh, you're gonna stick yourself. Yeah, here you go. Okay, right there. You're gonna bump up onto a rock. Yep. Right there. Just leave it right there. Straight. There you go. Woo! Yeah! Yeah, baby! Woo! Yeah! You have no manners. He's got no lockers, that's the problem. Uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. No. Slow, Dave. Yeah. Made it look easy. Oh, <laughs> what you did was the best. You drove right on the log. Yeah, I was just being a show off. <laughs> Go far left and then hang hard right so that you're coming at this thing. 
Yeah, without. Oh, he's good. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not driver, yet. Driver, driver. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, oh, now, yeah. You're still good, come forward, come forward. Hard, yeah. there you go. Nothing. That looked fairly non-dramatic. That's good. That's the way I want it. You're good. You're going to get a little... Oh! Yes. Millimeters. You're perfect. Slow. Yeah. Like nothing, dude. the steam comes off of the exhaust system. So I guess we're doing some stream bed stuff. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, we've just paused at this amazing falls. It's like gorgeous, beautiful. So we're at Grotto right now, and that's where it is. Across the way is going to be not so fucked as over here, Granny's Cottage. And the way we came in follows back to this. And that's pretty much the end of Grotto. Back in here, the uh, fuck trails, lower fuck, upper fuck. This is Ryan has done a phenomenal job showing us around today. Absolutely. Uh, variety and uh, the, the overall feel of this experience is spectacular. Yeah. So what happened there? I decided to take a real adventurous route into some trees and this fender popped straight off. Oh, we're getting videoed, are we? I love that Jeep with the half doors, so I got Gord to tell me about it. Uh, you were saying this was a Texas vehicle, so what are some of the things you got out of it? It's a 2012, I bought it two years ago. Uh, it's got a Datatrack uh, Pro Rock 44 in the front, Pro Rock 60 in the rear, RCV axles, ARB lockers, four and a half inch Rubicon Express lift in it. We got King shocks on it, winch, it's onboard air, Ursa Minor top, factory half doors. We have a real fridge. La -dee -da. Shackles slash dog treats. We were just waiting for buddies back there. They had to change a tire. Now we're all ready to go. Yeah, your rims don't match anymore. No. <laughs> We've just seen amazing stuff. As you said, thanks to Ryan for the, you know, good show. Like he did a fantastic job guiding us through everything and showing us where this and that is. Next up, they wanted to show us the entrance to one of the harder trails in BC. This one's lower fuck. This is lower fuck. Upper fuck connects to this, and it's seriously a hardcore machine. Like, uh, none of our rigs would make it up upper fuck. So we couldn't drive it, but we wanted to walk some of it just to see what Sean was talking about. This does look like a tight squeeze. Is this the hard part? Looks hard. You, you gotta roll your door into that. You have to get way up on that thing yeah, and... They drop down. Well, if I got my four underpass flat, then I'd come up here. Yeah, this, this, is, the, this is the hard part. This is the hard part. This is the hard part. So, it looks to me like people are going up this uh, oh, yeah, people, right side. Yeah. This would still be hard here. This is very slippery, right? You'd have to have some... It's not like slick though, you still have, like this is all well worn, but as long as you have proper tires. So there's a lot of scraping on that rock indicating that yes indeed, this is where people drag their rock guard to, to turn right and clear that corner. 
How much my of a forerunner drop? will never come on this trail, unfortunately. Yeah. Then ne never. So, how do you say goodbye to an awesome day and a bunch of new friends? Well, I think Ryan and Jack and the Red TJ said it perfectly. <laughs> Next time on Spiritual 4x4. Yeah, I have wheel envy. I go with Forlow BC on a special mission to help a family from Alberta get deep into the backcountry. We're searching for my little cousin who's been missing since November. Um, his truck was found burnt out on the end of the Brian Waddington Hut Trail. So we're up here trying to see where this place is and how he even got here.